and and I <laughs> sat back, and and the fans are gonna absolutely love these stories. I I can't wait to get this all together. And there's there's actually <laughs> I appreciate one, that. There's one fan in specific that I'm gonna mention to you. He comes on the round table. I do a fan round table. We get four, five, six, sometimes seven, eight, nine of us together. Uh, since you know we can't do shit right now. So the relationships I've made outside the ring, we get some of the fans together, we hang out, we talk, uh, promotions, talent, and such, as I described before. Uh, yeah, but good job, man. Rick Del Santo, he goes to uh, probably almost every single PAPW show that there is. And I, I and if I'm not mistaken, you're pretty, uh, you should be familiar, if you're not, with Rick Del Santo. Uh, are, are you not, as a fan that comes to the PAPW shows? Well, I'm going to say this first off, uh, when it comes to fans and marks and smarks and smart marks and whatever the fuck it is that you want to call it, I'm a mark. Uh, everybody that's in this business is a mark, whether you're a broadcaster, a fan, a wrestler, a talent, a star, we were all marks at one time or another, and we were all fans, and we still are, or we wouldn't be in this business. And there's a lot of great super fans who I don't consider as your regular fan, I consider them super fans in the know, a connection with the business that you never had before in the 70s and 80s and 90s that has been, this is how the business has changed into the 21st century, that we let guys like the Fives and the Ricks and yourselves and other people, because you're good quality stand-up people who do good work and get that access, even when I work with the kid who's now going on to bigger and better things. So uh, that's why that's why I compliment you to begin with the show, not to kiss your ass, but to tell every podcaster and YouTube channel and guy out there that does this that's not an actual worker who is trained and stepped in the ring. You guys do incredible things for the boys and the business, and without you guys and the fans, we, we wouldn't do shit, bro. It's just that simple. But on to your point about Garage Rick, and that's what I call it. Rick Del Santos, an excellent guy, and I did see that Garage podcast. Rick? I believe that you've had you've done over a hundred different shows so far on YouTube since this pandemic, the hundred and thirty something you said. I probably maybe I'm over guesstimating it a little bit. I probably watched anywhere from thirty to fifty of your episodes of different people because I like the way you peel it back. You're a little crazy, you're different, you're unique, you bring something different that most people don't do. And this was the perfect timing for you to do it. So that's what makes you different. The most of the people out there, you're a little crazy, people aren't sure, so so we're still working for you. And Rick Del Santo, I consider him a guy that's been in the business. He's been in radio. He's been in podcasting. Uh, I mean, he's very involved in the music industry and working at a record store. He knows the business, and I consider him to be like a historian of pro wrestling because he knows the history of every group, all the independents, the big times. He watches countless videos, countless hours. He puts in his time. And I respect that, and that's what I've said to you earlier. A guy like Rick Del Santo is a guy who I personally know. We've gone to see Mick Foley together, Jake the Snake Roberts, to hang out and meet the guys. And uh, yeah, Garage Rick, salt of the earth, knows the business, and, and really a stand-up guy. He knows his shit, man. He really uh, does. We call him the prof, uh, short for the professor, in our, our round table. He knows uh, his shit. You call him Garage Rick. Why do you call him Garage Rick? I call him Garage Rick because he's been known to perform in many garages across the country and throughout the world. He was known as a garage performer, Garage Rick. Like back to the old Southern California days of the 70s where the bands, before they became famous, were learning their trade like an independent in the garage studio. Garage Rick. Rick Del Santo. Oh, shit. Oh. It, That's listen, awesome. He knows, Rick Del Santo knows a lot about the music industry, the broadcast industry. He knows a little bit about everything, and especially pro wrestling. Very interesting young man. Young man, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's very looking forward to this interview. That's why I bring him up. He, specifically, Rick Del Santo, he's really looking forward to this. Good guy. Um, 